Growing up hip hop, okay, got Angela Simmons, Romeo hanging out with us, Hot 97. Okay, so who came up with the idea for this show? Well, we're oh. both actually producers on the show, so yeah. pretty much, you know, I kind of came to Rome and I had this idea and we collaborated on it, so it's a joint effort. Yeah, and it's some uh, reality TV been trying to get me in that world for a while since the Osbournes, and when Angela came with me with this, this type of show, I was like, that's a no-brainer, you know, something that's positive, something that's going to inspire, and something that has a meaning behind it. So January 7th is when it premieres. Yes. Yeah, at January 10 7th. Mm -hmm. oh, you're so excited right now. <laughs> so you guys are going to get producer credit, which is different. So are you guys yeah. super involved with everything? Do you guys watch everything as it's done? And you guys got to make sure it's right? Or how does this work? No, we were definitely involved in the process, I would say for sure. And just yeah. making sure creatively that it's a great show. And obviously there are other incredible producers on the show that put a lot of time and effort into it. So we definitely were a part yeah. of that process. So what is this show about? I would say basically it's about all these different cast members. Cheetos. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Rome, Food. I. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Uh, Kristen and DeBarge on the show, Boogie, we have Egypt, and you know, we all grew up in really similar backgrounds, obviously growing up behind these huge iconic, behind these huge iconic families and yeah. names, but um, I would say it's really us being us, you know, like I feel like a lot of the times children kind of get lost in the shadow of what their family names actually are versus actually people getting to know us and who we are and how hard we work. And I feel like you get to know more about our relationships, our careers, you know, how hard we are working, our friendships, like all of that. Yeah, I'll say fighting monsters. That's my slogan. You know, uh, I actually have a new album coming out January 7 2 when the show drops called Fighting Monsters. And that's so relevant because I feel everybody is fighting some type of monster, whether it's big or small. And that's what this show shows. You know, it showed that, look, I don't care. Like people may think it's easy, but it's like I don't care where you're at in life. You got to work your butt off to yeah. be successful. It just doesn't it's not handed down to you. Do you guys feel like you had to work even harder because everyone assumed that everything came so much easier to you guys because of the iconic family name? Well, I would Ange, say, do you want to answer that first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say uh, I actually still am working just yeah. as hard. You know, it's not a battle that's over, and I don't feel like it's ever over, you know, because people do feel, I would say, that everything is given to myself, and I'm sure everyone else can speak for themselves, but I do feel like everyone feels that it's given to me, and yes, I have a wonderful family background. I come from this awesome family name, right. but that does not get me through life. It may get me through a couple doors for some meetings, but I still have to make sure that I'm the one putting in the work, and I'm the one that they actually want to work with. You know, yeah. they're not working with my dad. They're not working with my uncle. Yeah. They're not working with my family. They're working with me, and you know, I'm the one starting these companies. I'm the one doing the back-end work, so yes, I do feel like people think it's given to me when it's so far from that nothing is given at the end of the day you know i don't care who you are if you don't have the talent mm. if you don't have the work ethic you're not going to be successful it's like people look at my career and they're like well you're masterpiece son they have people that's way more successful way more rich than my family and they got kids that's od and kids that's in rehab so it doesn't necessarily mean yeah. if you come from a successful family you're going to be successful and that's why i take my hat off to all the castmates in this in this show because all these kids in this show you know from angela to boogie to egypt to tj you know to uh christina yeah. everybody's going to make a difference in this world and you're supporting some that you're making people, they're going to be successful, and it's for a reason. You're, these people aren't going to be successful because they're acting a fool on TV. Yeah. They're going to be successful because they're chasing their dreams. And that's what I love about this show and the cast. Which is very different than reality yeah. TV. You know, everyone's always putting themselves out there in this, you know, comical way, almost becoming characters. So this show is yeah. different. It's going to be funny, of course, because funny yeah, man, things this, happen. This show, yeah. I mean, like we all yeah. are naturally being ourselves. Exactly. So, you know. I mean, you got a little bit of everything. I call it gumbo. You know, it's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a great show. That's I'm telling y'all, January 7th, We TV, y'all need to be there. That's Growing up yeah, 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's talk individual work that you guys are doing. So, Angela, tell us about this, because, you know, sometimes people don't know 
that you're involved with designing, that you really are hands-on. Well, yeah, totally. I mean, that's been my passion since I've been nine years old. I mean, I figured out, like, I want to be a fashion designer, so I just went for it. And, you know, I have my faux fur line, Fufi and Bella, mm -hmm. which I'm launching this month, and I'm super excited about it. It's my company, started ground up, and I'm doing all of the work. I actually just partnered with Sonia Richards Ross. Nice. And so we're partners in this together, and it's, it's just an incredible journey, honestly. I'm learning so much. I mean, my sister and I were in business before, and we had right. the pastry line, and I learned a lot there, and now I'm doing my own thing and tons of other stuff, but I'm just going to stick to one thing because I feel like it's so much going on in my day-to-day -day life that I don't think we could all keep up with it. But it's definitely a blessing, and I'm super excited about it. What's the end goal with that? I mean, obviously, to see everyone in my stuff. You yeah. know, I love, I love fashion, and there's nothing better. There's no better feeling, I'll say, than seeing someone in the streets in your designs. You know, like when my sister and I had the sneaker line, we would see people in it. That is the coolest thing. Like, you design that from your heart, and then you actually see people in it. And I think it's awesome. And also, for me, it's all about inspiring other young women or even young men who want to be designers that, you know, your goals and your dreams are right there if you just go for it. Yeah. You know, like, I'm personally funding my own company and I'm looking for investors and I'm doing all this stuff myself. So Hey, don't I tell them everything. It. You can see it on the show. That's oh, all I got to oh, say. Yeah. You can see <laughs> every day. This is January 7th, yeah. We yeah. TV 10. This is good to know. Sorry, this you know, you get, you, you I'm, get, I'm dig, you you get, digging. You get I'm about to get into you it. Get hype yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say, but overall, I'm a fashion designer and philanthropist. Everything I do is about giving back and using my platform for a better reason in life, you know? That's great. I love knowing and hearing that because, again, you know, the perception of coming from an iconic family is that you've had everything given to you. You don't have to really work. and False. <laughs> you become a socialite and just travel. And that's what it is. That sounds nice, though. But right, that's it does not my sound life. nice. Yeah. That's not. Okay. Now, Romeo, what do you have, like, as far as your outside work? You have music. You have an album dropping, Fighting Monsters. Yeah. Um, a couple of things. I just, I was the lead in seven films. So I, I was away for nine months. Uh, just finished Jarhead 3 out in Bulgaria. Um, I got a horror movie coming out called Little Dead Riding Hood. It's the horror version of the Little Red uh, Fairy Tale coming out January 5th. Um, new clothing line, you know, trying to be like Ange. Stop. I got a new clothing <laughs> line. It was actually one of the top selling lines online last year. It's called Rome Everything. So y'all go to RomeEverything.com to check that out. And um, new music, you know, I'm excited about this new project. It's called Fighting Monsters. As people know, I'm going through a lot of family stuff right now with yeah, a absolutely. very public divorce. And I don't think people understand that the kids become a, a bigger part in it than people think. And I kind of use that to, to make this new record, which will be coming out January 7th. So it's called Fighting Monsters. And I just want to let kids know, like, you're not alone. You know, and you never know what the person's next to you is going through. So always be kind and you'll get through it as long as you're breathing. Just know you're here for a reason. And um, what else do I have? I have something everything. else. Everything. You do everything. everything. It sounds like oh, you got, everything. I got Comic another, I got another show, my Pops Master P Empire, the top show on real. So thank y'all for supporting that. Um, what else? Gosh, you know you, you do everything. have a lot. I, I think can't you think. gave them Why enough. don't you just leave every? You oh, no, and this is enough. the most important, though, like the philanthropy work. You know, we got to close out on that. That's why I work so hard. I'm not doing this for fame. I don't do this to, for women. You know, I do this for my family and to make a difference. And I feel that's the message. Like anybody out there watching, like if you want to be in this business, it's like have a reason while you're doing it Definitely have to have and a you have to give back it's like none of this is is worth it if you don't give back so to so all the kids out there go follow me at rome romeo miller and i'll definitely show some love to you you know i i just again you guys are so refreshing it's so nice to see you know people who come from you know well-off families and still very humble down to earth and and also real you know what i mean that you guys go through pain romeo i Wait, know Oh, yeah, yeah, she is real. What are you doing? <laughs> All real. But, you know, Romeo, for you, I know a lot of stuff is going on in the news. Was it a shock for you that your mom was suing you? Did that all come to a surprise? And because I read that and I, I my heart felt for you. Well, um, all I could do is, is pray for just my family in general, both of my parents. I just want them to be happy. And um, this is something that as a family we got to figure out. It's not for will. the public, you, you know. Guys will. And that's where that's where I stand at with it. You know, I love both of my parents. You Absolutely. know, that's that's why I'm here on earth. But y'all can find out more. Go to Fighting Monsters. You know, January seven. Download the album. You hear more in detail, and then on the show as well. Do you feel pressure because people remember you when you were young, and now when yeah. you're doing music, do you feel people might still have this image of? Little Romeo, and you're like, no, relax, that's not me. That's I was, I was never, no, nah, I was never one of those people. Like, 
hey, don't call me Lil Romeo. Like, that's the part. It's like any little kid is like, what was your little nickname growing up? What people used to call you in school? They probably Just called you Lil something. Nitty. Lil Nitty. Lil Nitty. <laughs> exactly. Nitty. Exactly. It's always so, a little something. Yeah, so that's a part of life. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of child celebrities don't understand. They just, they want to jump out of that box so bad and they try too hard and for me it was always just a natural progression and i watched like some of the people who made it from being a, a successful child star to being a superstar as an adult you look at justin timberlakes and guys like that where it was just a natural progression so like for me you know it's just a part of my life and it was a, a very amazing time you yeah. know my fans they still rock it with me to this day i got some of the best fans in the world so you know i have no complaints Angela, so listen, I like your pictures. What pictures? You know, the workout pictures <laughs> oh, thank and the, you. the nice bathing suit pictures thank on Instagram. You. So you really into working out, boxing, like that's... Yeah, I, I love working out. I, yeah. really, I really do. Yeah, well, we love the pictures. And thank that, you, you know, everyone's <laughs> like, we're just not going to stop looking at them. So I'm sure you heard the song, Slide in Your DM, Down in the DM. <laughs> Yo, Gotti. So have you guys talked? No, we haven't talked. <laughs> so no. Were you flattered when you heard the song? Of course. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be flattered? I think it's, it's cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we were all like, oh, that's he's going for the shot right there. I mean, I'm very flattered. Yeah. I think it was really sweet. How's your love life? Are you dating anyone? Are you single? It's you, quiet. It's quiet? <laughs> How's your love life, yeah, man? Like, are you open to somebody talking to you? Of or? course I am. Yeah? I mean, I work extremely hard, but I'm very open to dating. Okay, well, I let's... Mean, but I can't really tell you at all. I think you need to watch the show. Are to you going to talk more. about your requirements on the show? Like, what you're looking for? Romeo, don't Every, you know? Everything you need to know is going to be on the show. You know, I, I want guys to feel like, you know what? If they need to step up their game, they need to do it if they're trying to talk to Angela, right? Yeah, you need to stop. They gotta off. have a job. Daddy's not having that. You yeah. know, if I take you home to daddy, you gotta have it all together. You know, have a job. Of course, have your own place. Like Ambitious, these are, yeah. You know, there's a lot to it. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. How about personality? You want them funny? You want you them... gotta be a little funny. I'm clearly not serious at all times. Like I like to have fun. I mean, serious when it's I'm necessary. Be right there doing a radar check. You know, I'm like. Look. Oh, now, oh, now you got to check them? Yeah, no, no, wow. no, no. Are you no, checking for real? doing all of that. Nope, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah? Stay away. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Awesome. Romeo, how about you? Are you in a yeah, relationship? Yeah, what about relationship? you? What's the update? Because we saw a meme and, a, you know, people, look, what you about, know what's what about, out there. What about you? I'm going to say, man, <laughs> I'm just looking for strong bonds, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm looking for a bond, baby. <laughs> You're looking for a bond. I'm looking I like for a that. bond. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't answer. know. You, you got. I got to. I got to spread know. them wings. You know. Yeah. I was in a relationship, but you know, you gotta. What? You gotta. You, you gotta, sure you're not still in it? I'm looking for a bond right now. I think they should just watch the show and find out, though. Mm. Man, you can watch looking the show. Looking for a bond. Yeah. What about you? I'm in a relationship. Oh really? Uh, but I think we're. Are you? Has this been? <laughs> been well, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> but you know, I felt like you got a lot of heat for being in a relationship before because. Oh yeah, interracial white girl. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's sad that it's 2015 and that's a topic. I think you're giving them a lot. Still, I think you're giving them a lot. Yeah, this is yeah. The watch show. the show, man. Watch you the can't show. Give you no Are we gonna more. see but this at the end of the day? The like, let me tell you. At the end of the day, it is. I see people for people, not the skin. No, not you I don't care if you're tall, short, black, white, purple, turquoise. If you got an amazing heart, then I rock with you. That's how I feel. I don't ever yeah. look at how someone looks when someone's like, "What's your type? Tall." Thin. I'm like, uh, it's really about the person for me. Yeah, it's you, about that bond. That's all yeah. I'm saying. You just, Angela, you saying that right now just opened the floodgates for every guy <laughs> who's a bum out there was like, I have I'm a chance. Open. <laughs> <laughs>